Hello, hello, here is BB Walker. I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be working with the Yamaha keyboard. This is PSR975. And this video is especially for Chibruana Yuzo, if I spell it correctly, who asked about creating song with drums, so complete arrangement, and then save it on USB or do more with this. So in today's video I will show you two interesting things. I hope we will record song with styles and drums, then we add some soloing part and then we move the song using MIDI format and USB drive to computer to the AW software to make some further editing and final arrangement. So if you are interested in just take a breath and we will start very soon. Alright, so as I have mentioned before, this video will be split into two parts. On the first part we will be working with instrument only, we will record complete song, I mean some, let, let's call it a draft of the song, and then we use it uh, in a computer to import into DLW and make some editing. So if you are interested how to build this you know, whole arrangement using only the keyboard. Please refer to the description. There is a video when I'm explaining it. Today I'll be doing it very fast. So record and stop to start completely new song. We are answering no. We don't want new, uh, to save it now. As you can see now, I have prepared for you a style called a style called Rock and Roll 60. And we will be recording this in two takes. First will be only the chord progression and the second take will be the melody, some kind of improvisation. So, uh, let's go forward. Alright, so I'm pressing rec and we will be recording all the channels at once. Please uh, notice that the song uh, with accompaniment actually is recorded from channel 10 to 16. There is a video about style creator when I explain how the style is built. Basically, there are seven channels on each style. Two, first two are the rhythmic parts, then bass, then melody, phrases, and so on. So, intro, variation A, and we're starting some rock and roll. So now we are pressing stop and we have our chord progression. It was basic chord progression in C major scale. If you are interested more in music theory, please check the description. There is also a video about music theory. Alright, so now let's record something on channel number one, which is a channel reserved. Channel number one to eight actually is a channel for soloing part for the right hand. I am showing you, of course you can record it in one take, so you are using left hand to play chords and right hand to play melody, but I would like to give you some more tips how you could do some things, actually if you are a beginner or you just want to, you know, keep focus on the, on the record progression and then keep focus on the melody. So now I will press hold record, I will press and hold record and I will select channel number one and I will select the source which is right one, it's very important because my voice selected voice now is right one, which is this saxophone. And with this configuration, all the rest of the channel is, is on, so it means they will be playing during my second take performance, so I will be overdubbing. Actually, I will be adding another track into mini song. So if I am ready, I'm pressing play and play. <laughs>
right, and we are stopping and resolving to C, because it was our root note. Uh, in this solo I was playing using only pentatonic scale with some spicy adding of blue note. If you are interested more in music theory building scales in 12 hour and so on, please also check the description or subscribe my channel because new videos are coming. Alright, so now is the time when we can, uh, you know, uh, listen our song. So press stop and play without record. <laughs> So we got our song in memory, now is the time when we need to save it. To save a song we are pressing select, we are selecting the bank where, where we are. Of course I'm doing it very fast, but there is a video when I'm doing it slowly and explaining all the stuff. I will be saving on USB because I want to take this memory stick and put into computer and then do more things. So I will go to page 2, there is a folder called PSR, here are my some uh, you know stuff so I'm pressing the menu and I'm pressing save and I'm naming the song let's call it air rock let's call it rock one and okay and now it's executing and it's safe and now we could go to computer so now I will switch to computer and we continuing all right, of course, you need to disconnect the USB drive, which is here. So I take the drive and put to computer. So let's switch to computer. All right, so now we are on the computer environment and we could continue our work. So as you can see, this is my YouTube channel. You can always write me a comment and I promise I will read all the comments and I will try to answer all the comments. So please give me like now. All right, I'm starting Cubase now, and for a moment it should be seen on the top of the screen, yes. And um, why Cubase? Uh, basically, I'm using FL Studio, I'm using um, Ableton, but the Cubase has the more convenient way for importing MIDI. As you can see, the only thing that I need to do is to press File, is to press Import, MIDI File, and I will select my uh, pen drive, USB memory stick, and the song that I have saved in a moment was the rock one. So I click open. Uh, please select folder. Okay, select folder. All right. And as you can see, magic happens. Um, basically, we see all the stuff. Inspector, inspector, yes, it will be necessary and uh, we will use it in a moment. So, as you can see, the Cubase uh, is very smart. I mean, it um, reads all the channels from the MIDI tracks, from the MIDI song, actually MIDI file. So, there is a lead, uh, which is my channel number one. You can check it here. It's a very important place in here. So, here you can check which channel is your track. First is this lead one, Calliope. I could call it sex of phone uh, but uh, we will can change it later as you can see I'm changing and this is uh, channel number 8 10 11 12 14 15 16 uh, those channel are chord data and sys x data are, are special channels are control channels added by the MIDI standard and the Yamaha itself the chord data is a special place where Yamaha puts its uh, chord progression and the style information. It's useful when you are using the Yamaha keyboard for editing and changing MIDI uh, data. Uh, I mean, you can, for example, change the chord that it's played or change the style or variation change. And those um, crazy things are hidden in here. Of course, in Cubase, probably we won't be able to do this because this is the specified for Yamaha. Uh, keyboards, but for example, if you take a, a song from one uh, Yamaha keyboard and put to another, you will have all this uh, variation changes and you will be able to edit this like in the original instrument. Okay, so uh, to explain you while I'm connected, 
actually and what the MIDI data is. I am repeating this uh, hundred times, but MIDI data is only the information which note uh, has been pressed, uh, how long and which velocity if you have a, a dynamic keyboard. So basically it holds only the data uh, separated on the track up to 16 channels aka tracks are in MIDI file and it consists of drums, a solo, every every instrument that you have used in your composition. If you are using a built-in style those tracks are of course added. Honky tonk, rocky and acoustic grand piano etc. Okay so what can you do with it in DLW? Basically if you play it now you will heal nothing nothing uh, this nothing actually uh, sorry okay yeah imported me and sent to digital keyboard so actually you can you can hear it now but by the default if you take a look in here on this output device I have changed into digital keyboard for all the channels and this is why you can hear the sound and the sound doesn't come from DLW software. This sound comes from the Yamaha. How it's possible? I'm using USB MIDI cable and I'm connecting the Yamaha as the input output device. So it's a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard for input like a MIDI controller, but it also could receive MIDI and play it. And if I have my song, this Rock One song in the memory of Yamaha, as you can see now behind me, okay, I will change to this uh, view. So basically still there is Rock One on the memory. And if I have this, if I have this, I could send back MIDI data to instruments. So basically uh, what you need to do, um, by the default, you will have other device here, but if you connect your keyboard to computer and select digital keyboard for all the channels, as you can see now I'm switching over the channels and all the channels are digital keyboard. Uh, and if you do this, the song that will play and the sound that you can hear and I'm recording from the audio interface, which is basically output from the Yamaha keyboard, is the sound from Yamaha. Let's listen it again. Now I am soloing only saxophone and the drums. As you can see on the channel 8 and 10 there is drums and uh, only here is only hi-hats. You can of course double click, zoom in uh, using... And as you can see there is our data. We could select any other channel, play solo. Here is the organs. bass Okay, so basically in this video I have shown you how you could grab MIDI data from your uh, song, from your instrument keyboard uh, and it doesn't matter which keyboard you have, it, do it doesn't have to be Yamaha, it could be Roland, it could be Casio, Korg, whatever you have. Basically if your instrument have the you know, feature called uh, saving song into MIDI, which probably 99.9% .9 of the keyboards on the market have, you can take it and import into DLW software. And if you are struggling with mapping those sound from 
um, um, you know, MIDI data into virtual instrument, you can, uh, you know, use the original instrument that you have used to compose, so your keyboard. Of course, there is another way. Uh, we don't need to connect USB MIDI back to Yamaha to play this MIDI. We could use a instrumental track uh, like Holion SE, which is in here in this Cubase LE version. Uh, we can use it and uh, map the um, drums m or it on each channel. So first will be the saxophone, channel number 8 and 10 will be general MIDI drums and so on and so on. And we could disable the Yamaha and don't use the sound engine from Yamaha to, you know, play this music, but make arrangement uh, with our own samples. Because it's, you know, not always clearly explained. There are two things. Uh, first is the sound creation, I mean sound engine, which means who produces the sound. It could be a hardware device or it could be a software like VST plugin, Analog Lab, Citrus, whatever you have, or any other emulation synth or, you know, Rumpler uh, plugin, software. So software could generate sound. And the second thing is who controls MIDI data. So DLW software actually usually have those two features. It has some virtual instruments and it control, controls the MIDI data. But if you don't want to make mappings, you could use the hardware device that you have and thanks to physical MIDI output, you can send those notes somewhere else into drum machine, into synth, hardware synth, or use the software. So basically, if you are interested in such way of creation or the other way, I mean using the software uh, engines, for music or using hardware sound engines, please give me a comment. I can create more videos. I don't want to make this video very long because this topic is much more complex than most people think. We could do a lot of things with routing. And so basically, uh, please let me know in the comments which in which topic you are interested more. Maybe uh, you want me to show this on FL Studio. It's quite more complex, but it's also possible to take this MIDI song, this rock and roll, and import into DLW. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like if you like this video or write a comment. So see you later. It was BB Walker. Good luck.